Border Patrol arrests 330 in New Mexico, many of them unaccompanied minors. The Border Patrol's El Paso sector announced Monday that its agents had taken 330 migrants into custody hours before President Trump was to visit the sector to make his latest pitch for a wall along the U.S.-Mexico border. The migrants were arrested shortly after midnight at the Antelope Wells entry port in southern New Mexico, which is part of the Border Patrol's El, El Paso sector. U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP said in a statement that the group was composed primarily of Central American families and unaccompanied juveniles and was the 28th group of 100 or more migrants to be apprehended in El Paso sector since the beginning of October. The Border Patrol in El Paso has repeatedly highlighted the issue of immigrants of migrants surrendering to authorities by the hundreds in southern New Mexico since two children died in U.S. custody late last year, calling it an ongoing situation and blaming unscrupulous smugglers. Criminal organizations continue to exploit innocent human lives in order to enhance their illicit activities without due regard to the risk of human life. And that is very true. In most cases, these smugglers never cross the border themselves in order to avoid apprehension. And that is very true. Trump visit, Trump's visit to El Paso has become the point of contention among locals since he referred the border city in the last week's State of the Union address. The president insisted that the, com the complete competition of border fencing had led to a drop in El Paso's crime rate a claim that has been challenged by local officials. Former Representative Beto O'Rourke, a potential Democrat presidential contender in 2020, will be among those taking part in a march through El Paso to protest the planned wall that will take place simultaneously with Trump's, with Trump's rally. So they're trying to match Trump's rally, trying to see who's the bigger, um, who has the bigger uh, march, who has the most people, and see has you know most power or influence, I guess, right? But 330 migrants, and that was the 28th group. 28th group. That's um, 100. So that's 2,800 migrants so far. And there's more coming. And I'm, I've been, I'm pretty sure there's been a lot that have been passing. You know what I mean? Uh, secret. Right, so California governor to pull troops from U.S.-Mexico border in a rebuke to President Donald Trump's administration. California governor Gavin Newsom pulled hundreds of troops. And it's not hundreds. I mean, he's... Uh, fuck it. Let's just go with the article so you can see what I'm trying to talk about. California governor Gavin Newsom plans money to withdraw several hundred National Guard troops from the state's southern border with Mexico in a defiance of the Trump administration's request for Trump for support for um, from border states. About 100 of the 360 troops will remain deployed under California's agreement with the federal government to focus specifically on combating transnational crimes such as drug and gun smuggling. Specifically, they will be tasked with providing intelligence on transnational crime and assist with cargo dock operations and searches of commercial trucks and for contraband. Last April, the Trump administration approached the southern, bo southern border states and requested their approval for deploying troops to the border. Newsom's actions are afresh, if symbolic, a affront to President Donald Trump's claim of an immigration crisis on the, on the nation's southern border. The border's emergency is a manufactured crisis, and California will not be a part of this political theater. theater. Newsom plans to say in his the Tuesday State of the State Address, <laughs> according to the excerpts released by his office, Newsom will reassign, reassign roughly 110 troops to beef up California's fire preparation efforts in advance of the next wildfire season and expand the Guard's Counter Drug Task Force program. The expansion of the Counter Drug Task Force requires approval from the U.S. Department of Defense. The original mission approved by California's former governor, Jerry Brown, was set to end March 31st. The order Newsom plans to send Monday will require the guards to immediately begin withdrawing troops, but still give it, to, uh, give it until the end of March to do so. When Brown, a fellow Democrat, approved the mission in April, he said no California troops would participate in immigration-related activities. He, si he similarly ordered the troops to focus on combating transnational crime. This will not be a mission to be... This will not be a mission to build a new wall, Brown wrote at the, at the time in a letter to Trump administration officials. It will not be a mission to round up women and children or detain people escaping violence and seeking a better life. And the California National Guard will not be enforcing federal immigration laws. Charade. In a, simple move, in a similar move, New Mexico Governor Michelle, Michelle Lujan Grisham last week ordered most National Guard troops deployed at the state's border with Mexico to withdraw also, rejecting the Republican president's uh, contention of a crisis. Grisham, a Democrat, called Trump's frequent declaration, declarations of an immigration crisis at the border a charade. The troops were deployed by her Republican predecessor, Susan Martinez, last year at Trump's request. Newsom's Monday order will argue that the increase in Central American migrants and refugees crossing the border is the result of a desire to escape violence and, rep and repression fueled in part by the act activities of transnational crime organizations. This is the, this is the bad part. Um, 
we're seeing it and today like i'm really fired up i'm really going against these immigrants i don't like to talk in um in aggressive nature but fuck these immigrants bro they are they're they're burned they burned the flag of mexico that's a total disrespect besides that we help and we give them food water medicine doctors and they still are abusing the mexican system mexico the civilians the citizens they will not care for the united states they don't care they don't give a f all right these immigrants are bad. They're bad. They're bad milk. The California Guard's resources are best spent tackling those activities he plans to argue. Just a month into his governorship of the, of the nation's most populous state, Newsom has sparred with Trump on immigration and other issues. He has held up California as an antidote to what he seen, he deems a corrupt Washington, a message he, he's likely to echo in Tuesday's State of the State speech as his first, uh, he's his first as governor. Sorry. Texas and Arizona still have troops on the border. The 360 troops are a fraction of the roughly 14,000 that have been deployed throughout California for various operations since 2016. Trump has, Trump has drummed up fear over supposed threats posed by undocumented immigrants and other, others crossing the border, prioritizing building a wall on the U.S.-Mexico border. But Democrats have so far pushed back against his demand for billions of dollars in funding for the proposed wall. Yeah, that's all I got to say, man. These, these immigrants are getting me... Ah, oh, man, fuck... And in other news, in Texas, Border Patrol sees over 190,000 worth of cocaine at the border. Presidio, Presidio, Texas, Friday, the U.S. Customs and Border Protection Office at the Presidio Port of Entry seized 15.5 pounds of cocaine hidden inside an SUV with an estimated street value of 191K. CBP officers discovered the drugs in a hidden compartment around 10.30 Friday morning and arrested the driver, a 19-year-old Mexican citizen from Chihuahua City, Chihuahua. The driver was turned over to U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement agents to face federal prosecution for the smuggling attempt.